Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. November 10th, William Dabo Sweeney. Since 2009, Dabo has coached Clemson University's Fighting Tigers, the same school John Heisman coached in 1900. And Sweeney is the first coach in program history to lead Clemson to multiple national championships. In 2018, the Tigers became the first major college football team since the Penn Quakers in 1897 to finish a season 15-0. Twice, Dabo has been ACC Coach of the Year. He won the Woody Hayes Award, National Coach of the Year, and a week later, he won the Paul Bear Bryant Award. Dabo is the first three-time winner in that award's history. Today's story is a look at how he got started. Don't ignore the little things. You never know when they may play a big role. Dabo was a college kid with a big dream. He wanted to play college football for Alabama. Only two guys made it through tryouts, but Dabo was one of them. His dream was about to arrive. When preseason camp started, Dabo was all in. But when he went to get his class schedule, his Pell Grant and student loans were late and unavailable. He wouldn't be allowed to enroll or play football unless he paid $550 by the next day. And worse, he already owed his landlord $400 in back rent. Dabo felt devastated. And with no money, he turned to his mother for help. She applied for a loan, but was rejected. Since his family couldn't help him, Dabo turned to the only one left that he could. He turned to God. He got on his knees and prayed for God to help him. But deep down inside, he expected that things would not change. And he came up with a plan that seemed like his only alternative. He would have to go back home and work to save enough money, but that would mean his chance to play football could be gone. If he couldn't go through camp, his spot on the team might be taken by somebody else. Wondering how things were going to be fixed, he walked back to his apartment, and when he got in, he checked the mail. In the stack were plenty of pizza coupons, but then, hidden between them, an unusual envelope from Discover Dabo opened it. Two blank checks. What was this? Was it a scam, he wondered? He decided to call the company and find out. On the phone, the woman on the other end explained that the checks were connected to a credit card he'd been given through a student program. But Dabo hadn't received the credit card. After checking, the woman informed him that the card had been mailed to the wrong address and then sent back to Discover. But he didn't have to worry. It wasn't used at all and had all the credit still intact. What's my credit limit, he asked her. It's $1,000, she said. Dabo felt numb for a second. $550 tuition plus $400 for rent, with some left over. In tears, Dabo called his mother and told her what had happened. Then he got on his knees and he thanked God for providing the money. He ran over to Coleman Coliseum to pay his tuition and used the other check to pay his rent. After a few weeks, his grant and loan came through as well and he quickly paid off the credit card debt, budgeting his money so this would never happen again. In the end, Dabo went on to play football, which eventually led to a career in coaching He made a positive difference, not only in his players' lives, but in the lives of his fans and followers too. That was a specific prayer God answered, Dabo said. He realized that the routine tasks we do on a daily basis, those habits that we form, are important too. God can use them all. Psalm 18, 28 says, You, O Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. Think about some little things in your life. How is God using them in a big way? 
Don't ignore the little things. You never know when they may play a big role. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com. 